uh, if you if you notice about the environmental justice, water is one of the concern right now. Why? Because the sustainability and the quality of water getting worse. And you know that our our earth, 70% is filled with water, and only 3% can be drink, you know, drinkable water, only 3%. And that number didn't change. Unless, you know, uh, some country already put uh, desalination. So, for example, uh, most of the uh, country in Middle Eastern. But that didn't do much. I mean, not even 1% to have the, uh, the drinkable water. So, what we, we can do is, of course, we have to know this, uh, you know, the consequence of what we did uh, to our resources to the water, and the second, change our habit. So I like to provide you some little uh, guidance uh, uh, based on our deen, Islam, that we have everything for our, uh, we have cure for our problem, right? So including, you know, disease and what not, all we give us the cure in uh, our Quran. So uh, let me provide uh, some summary, like, we can use this principle for any things that we like to change our attitude. Uh, in this example, is for the water. Uh, first of all, that Allah is Al Quran, right? That's a guidance for us uh, in this dunya and other. So, one principle is that oneness of God, the Tawhid. Why? Because the Tawhid is the foundation of our faith. The, the, the deen is actually the guidance of our life, right? So, based on this, uh, the concept of Tawhid, then Allah command is above everything. So, including, uh, you know, to change our attitude. So, the second one is uh, our super for being grateful, uh, being grateful that, uh, you know, uh, here we are living in the United States where we have uh, very, we have a abundance of resources, including the natural resources, uh, including water, right? But uh, remember that uh, some people, uh, even here, probably, well, I don't think here, but some people in other countries like our back home or even in Africa, they still uh, have challenge, you know, to even drink water, the clean water. So uh, Allah in Surah Ibrahim, Ayah 7, says in translation, And remember, your Lord caused to be declared publicly, If you are grateful, I will add more favors unto you. But if you show ingratitude, truly my punishment is terrible indeed. So the second principle is being grateful for whatever Allah gives us in this, for, for our lives right now, uh, right here. So uh, having uh, enough water for us to drink, that's really we have to be uh, uh, grateful to our smell. The third principle is al adil justice, right? Justice here means that every member of society has the right to obtain his or her basic needs equitably in this, well, in, in my example, in the case of water. So remember, uh, you know, some people, because because of their condition, geographical condition, even uh, their geographical condition, they uh, have a hard time to access the, the water. So the, uh, the fourth one is uh, al wasabiya wa al tawazun. So the, the concept of moderation and balance. So in Surah al Baqarah, uh, ayat 143, Allah says in translation, this have we made of you an Ummah justly balanced, that you might be witness of the nation and the messenger a witness of yourself. So again, um, the concept of moderation in any kind. So uh, even you know, in our in our deen, uh, there's a hadith that pretty much you have to be uh, moderate. Uh, you know, there's sahabat who who uh, fast all the time and then ibadah. Uh, throughout the day all the time and even they uh, uh, didn't, uh, uh, didn't have a spouse. So Allah, I mean, Rasulullah says that I am indeed uh, a moderate, uh, a moderate people in moderation, right? 
And then uh, the, uh, that's in condition of water, the same thing, we have to be uh, in moderation. Uh, another fifth concept, another fifth is uh, al or being efficient. So, you know, sometimes when we uh, don't say when we make udu, we, you know, keep the water run so big so that, you know, you just need a little water, but you, uh, you spend or you, you uh, pretty much uh, waste the water that, that we use for udu just for enough uh, to wash our, our body. So, uh, this is from Hadis uh, recorded by Malik, Rasulullah said, as narrated by as noted by uh, Ali bin Abi Talib, uh, Rasulullah SAW said, the best of Islamic identity of someone is living unnecessary, unnecessary things. So again, being efficient. Uh, number six is um, Al Inaya, or showing concern toward others. So I, I said earlier that you know uh, some some uh, people in uh, parts of the world has difficulty in, in getting uh, clean water. So we have to have that in our uh, mind and attitude that we have concern. So as you know that um, uh, in Islam, uh, you know, our brother and sister is like uh, our own body. And then uh, in, with regards to this so in concern, we have three concerns. The first one is concern for other human being. And then the second concern for the sustainability and quality of water resources. Or how can I be uh, is deeper, is is similar one no ia alma so uh, concerned with the uh, sustainability and the quality of water and the last but not least concerned for the ecosystem of flora uh, fauna al inaya bi al nizam al bi uh, hopefully that can uh, reflect in ourselves and so that uh, you know remember plastic uh, you know we use produce plastic and purified more water uh, than uh, producing uh, in only has a astrology in so uh, um, we can we can uh, put this in practice uh, all of all this out sound like a lot of people are